good morning in karnataka in karnataka they have karnataka money lenders act at par with we have tamil nadu money lenders act 1957 nobody concentrated that act but year 1962 karnataka uh, has got a very good provisions wherein they have barred uh, suit for money uh, being filed by the money lenders without license so this is ar 2022 karnataka 225 shashi reka versus sh basavarajayya in this case a suit was filed objection and a suit was dismissed by accepting that a suit was not maintainable in view of section 11 which uh, statutorized bar for money lender filing civil suit without obtaining license appeal it was set aside the second appeal uh, the i i court of karnataka uphold the lower court judgment and uh, in all the suit was dismissed but in tamil nadu uh, money lenders act some other provisions are there it is my duty that uh, there the section 7 says uh, definition class 7 says what was molest section 2 it is tamil nadu money lenders act 1957 section 2 describes who all are the persons who will be under the definition of money lending business then uh, he says uh, money lender means person whose main or subsidiary occupation is the business of advancing and realizing loan but excludes bank or cooperative society so then the section 3 mandates uh, to obtain license but uh, there was no provision as uh, it uh, it was contained in karnataka money lenders act but uh, you can uh, challenge the exorbitant interest and there is another act exorbitant interest act which uh, prescribes punishment for abating commitment all those things are there you can if you want uh, uh, to get rid of the exorbitant interest being collected by money lender you can file petition under section 8 before the civil court uh, to deposit the money with uh, uh, reasonable interest then uh, another provision was there for punishment lot of punishments are there inspectors are being appointed i do not know whether it is they are appointed or not whether anybody is concentrating it or not so uh, molestation what is molestation uh, that was defined uh, that uh, abstract or use violence persistently follows the person to place to place loiters and near the house uh, annoying it intimidate the member of the pub and uh, doing anything dangerous to the person and uh, property so he is punishable under section 13 so many other provisions are there kindly go through this keep a visit and this will also be an answer maybe a question in all india bar examination i hope you understand then question arises today we are, i am going to discuss about specific relief act first of all you should understand that this specific relief act in addition to civil procedure code in addition to civil procedure code they say uh, uh, there were several amendments uh, specific relief act 2018 uh, contracts not specifically enforceable uh, all these things are there uh, power of court to engage experts then uh, instead of going to uh, for uh, all india bar examination purpose what all are the necessary provisions uh, you should concentrate was that that uh, number 5 uh, uh, the recovery of specific immo- immovable property a person is entitled to personal specific recovery in the manner provided code of criminal procedure that civil procedure then they say specific relief to be granted only 
enforcing individual civil right and not for enforcing penal laws then section 6 deal with uh, dispossessing any tenant or other persons illegally you can file suit under section 6 of specific relief act that should be that should suit should be filed within 6 month of uh, uh, disposition and so that suit is barred by to be filed against the government then recovery of specific movable property seven what is that specific movable property suppose you paid a amount for uh, purchasing uh, to uh, to uh, manufacture a cart or some any article and uh, if he is not doing any sacred uh, tali etc then you can file suit under civil persons then section declaration if anybody denies your title uh, any authority then you can file suit for declaration then injunctions etc etc that we will look into to tomorrow by section wise but uh, you must uh, understand that specific relief act 1983 a uh, was being amended 2018 so there may be a question when this uh, act uh, come into force you see this is the specific relief act amendment act 2018 received the assent of the president on 18 2018 so if suppose a question was asked from which date the specific relief amendment act uh, came into force then you can very well open the bar act and uh, below down it is available one uh, received assent the president from 18 2008 president has given assent so that uh, a bill became act but it was brought into force only on 1 10 so that is most important kindly take down and uh, go through the act uh, tomorrow i will come and discuss further about all india ba- uh, association and uh, uh, i i want to share one more thing that uh, 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 this uh, day December second in the year 1981, I enrolled uh, as an advocate. That time the uh, enrollment committee chairman was one senior counsel Devadas. Uh, he is no more now. His daughter is practicing. See, I, I, actually I, I completed all formalities. I was there, uh, but unfortunately somebody took me to have some tiffin or uh, some juice. and I, i i came little bit late the uh, the committee uh, made me to stand till the entire proceedings was over that was the day when we enrolled i hope now i think i completed 40 40 one year completely and step in 42nd year of practice best wishes